Hi, welcome back to the final review in the Mighty Max Doom Zone series. Now this last set is the creepiest one of all, and it really excels in the horror genre with all its stereotypical glory. And hey, no surprise that it comes in the form of a severed hand. Yeah, must be the hand of a ghoul. Anyway, let's dissect it. Officially called Mighty Max Crushes the Hand. So what we have is a hideous hand that looks very dilapidated. The frail green skin gives it that ghastly image. A nice design with the internal flesh. And the chop at the wrist bones. <laughs> and some good details with the worm. Also the initials of the double M on the ring is a nice touch. Now to open, pull the fingers out. Then pull up the index finger. So we're introduced to a graveyard which is cursed. Color wise the dark green gives it that creepy aura. With the bottom area being the graveyard and the upper section being the forest. Now as for the playable characters. We have Max and here he carries a lantern. Our monster is the Lignin, self-proclaimed master of the undead. He's a demented spirit in the form of a haunted tree. He's got a very mad design with the ghastly wooden skin and the demon horns. And we have his minion, the undead. He's what you call a graveyard zombie. Very straightforward design with his decayed skin. And he fits well with the setting. <laughs> Now as for the graveyard, we got a staircase on the entry point. On the grave we have a rusty shovel and a big spider. You can open up the grave and you see some skeletal remains. In the central graveyard it's dominated by zombies. The color design is a unique mix. You got a brown one, a white one, a purple one and a weird green hippie one which you can turn. We got some skulls here, some stickers showing graves, and we got a big stony grave over here. Probably the grave of a rich guy. You open it up, and you see another zombie. And some minor details here with the spider. <laughs> now the upper part is a forest. We got a smaller tree here providing some background visual. Over here is an angry possessed tree. To think about it, it kind of reminds me of those forest trees of Mortal Kombat. You open it up, remove the demon, and we see a grave with a lot of human remains. Now at the very top, we have the tree monster. Some nice details with the blood. You open it up, and we see the mouth. Nice sharp teeth. Now all these crazy things appear in its official comic strip. And the story is pretty cuckoo kaka. Max enters the creepy graveyard to do battle with the Lignin. He encounters the undead and then suddenly he gets caught by the Lignin himself. The Lignin does his evil speech and takes Max to the tree monster. But Maxi manages to slip free and he ends up in an underground tomb. The Lignin continues to hunt down Max and smashes down the wall. But Maxi grabs a burning stick which was caused by lightning. And he ditches the flaming stick into the Lignin. Setting the demon tree on fire burning him into ashes. Hmm, that was weird. Anyway, closing procedure goes like this. Place the lignin inside the cursed tree. Close the tree. Place the undead in the front grave. Close the grave. Stand Max here, right next to the hippie zombie. Close the index finger. Then shut the other fingers. Yep. Perfect item for Halloween. <laughs>
Well, that concludes the review of all the Doom Zone sets. Hope you enjoyed them. And I will be back in order to review the Warrior line. And of course, the Super Heavyweight sets. That's when things really start to get big. But anyway, till next time, you have a good one. See ya.